Getting kids excited about science is much easier when you make it fun. And what's more fun than underwater robots? It's part of a summer program for some students. And this year, they worked on adding more young girls to the mix. Education reporter Art McFarland has more for it. If anything is more fun for these kids than building their own Lego robots, it is watching what they've built operate underwater by remote control. We play games with robots, too, like water polo. I like that. It's fun. This was one of two week-long sessions hosted by the Stevens Institute of Technology and targeting middle school students. I'm very pleased with, uh, with the way students have been able to design, build, and program their robots. I'm really, really impressed overall. They worked in teams, and one of the goals was to maneuver their water bots to pick up balls like this and move them around. We have to think about what process we need to um, make it go in the direction we want and do what we need. Obviously, some of the devices worked out better than others, but there were benefits for the kids other than getting the water bots to perform. They're collaborating with one another. Out in the world of work, that's what's going to be demanded of them. This is one of a growing number of programs designed to get kids more interested in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math, the so-called STEM subjects. And here at Stevens this summer, there's a special emphasis on encouraging more girls to become scientists. I'm very interested in science, and this camp has helped me become way more interested and made me want to become a scientist. All of the participants seem to feel the experience would be worth repeating. The best thing about being here is that I get to learn more about engineering, and it's very exciting to learn about new things every day. In Hoboken, New Jersey, Art McFarland, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.